，我想只要我活着一天，我对我儿子的思念会与日俱增，而不会随着岁月消失，就可以淡忘。我就，他叫徐宝岩，我就告诉他，我说宝岩，他们已经不配接受我们的信件了，因为他们失去了太多的时间和机会了。我们每年都给他们写信，不管他们领导人是谁，我们对死不对人，都给他们写公开信，要求他们面对，要求他们公正解决流失。他们不仅不予理睬，而且对我们进行打压。Okay. 我们要突破封锁，就像当年的柏林墙，阻隔了东西的，阻隔了两个。今天，中国政府在六四难署和国际社会、国际媒体之间也设立了一道六四墙。我想，我们大家努力来冲破这道六四墙的封锁。In the over the past 20, 21 years since the the June 4th massacres, the Chinese government has imposed uh, very strict censorship on any mention of what happened in June 1989 in Beijing and other cities. So there's been a collective enforced amnesia on the part of, of young people in China who have no opportunity to really learn what happened during that time. Now, for those who survived and experienced those events in June 89, their, their, their activities are extremely controlled. So anyone who would like to commemorate what happened in June 89, very often they are put under house arrest. If they're in Beijing, they are forced to leave Beijing. So the government has imposed this chokehold on any type of public commemoration.